In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be done according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh. And dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Go for forth to beseech the Lord, Lord thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance always remain with us. Amen. And may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. For the entrance, Kali join in singing A118 on page 54. A118. Ceasing, for this is the will of God. Pray without ceasing, for this is the will of God. Pray without ceasing, for this is the will of God. In Christ Jesus, concerning. Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters. Good afternoon, Good afternoon Father. Father. And welcome to all of you. And I also welcome my co-celebrants here for this 12 noon mass here in the shrine of the infant Jesus. Every Eucharist is a thanksgiving because God never stops loving us. We have to thank God for his love 24 by 7. Whether we are awake or asleep, God cares for us. He sees to all our needs and he gives us much more than we require. For our sins of selfishness, greed, arrogance, pride, envy, selfishness, let us ask God to pardon and to forgive us. I confess, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. And therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. We shall now have the introduction before the Lord have mercy. From the moment Jesus accepted God's invitation at his baptism, his food and drink were to do God's will. Though he came to save, 
He was willing to die if that was the only way humanity could be saved. On the last day of Navina, we prepare ourselves to be sent by the Lord to continue to make his kingdom a reality in our world. Father in heaven, you sent your Son into our world to set the world on fire with your love. Open our hearts to receive his message like Mary did and like to bring forth plentiful fruit. We make this prayer to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. First reading, a reading from the second book of Isaiah. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne high and lofty, and the hem of his robe filled the temple. And I said, woe is me, I am lost. For I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among a people of unclean lips. Yet my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphs flew to me, holding a live coal that had been taken from the altar with a pair of tongs. The seraph touched my mouth with it and said, Now that this has touched your lips, your guilt has departed, and your sin is blotted out. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go with us? And I said, Here I am. Send me the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God for the response to your psalm. Kindly join in singing, Be Thou My Vision, O Lord of My Heart. as we prepare a house for the gospel. Sing his message loud and clear. 
be with you and with your spirit. I'm reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory be to you, o Lord. They were on the road, going up to Jerusalem, and Jesus was walking ahead of them. They were amazed, and those who followed were afraid. He took the twelve aside again and began to tell them what was to happen to him, saying, See, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and the scribes, and they will condemn him to death. Then they will hand him over to the Gentiles. They will mock him and spit upon him and flog him and kill him. And after three days, he will rise again. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to the Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Please be seated. The food and drink of Jesus was to do the will of his Father. Where our treasure is, there will our hearts be also. If my treasure is in accumulating wealth, material wealth, I will do everything possible to make more and more money. If my aim in life is to have three cars, four houses, many television sets, countless mobiles, my heart will be there also. God has always loved us. And this love of God has been seen and experienced by humanity and the universe down the ages through salvation history. History gives us many, many examples how God has been communicating his love for everything that he has created. The world which he gifted to human beings so that we can use the things of the world to grow in our love for God and love for one another. We have done nothing to get things from God. It is out of His love and generosity that He gives us every single thing that we have. We do not own anything. And that is why when the time comes for us to say goodbye to this world, we can take nothing with us. No money, no wealth, no houses, no cars, nothing. And yet, when the time comes, we have to give an account of how we have lived in this world. Even that gift of life has been given to us. And God has lavished us with his blessings, his graces, so that we in turn may respond wholeheartedly to God's will. In today's gospel, we see Jesus is walking in front of his disciples. 
when he went round, he saw two pairs of brothers, Peter and Andrew, James and John. Ordinary men who were fishermen by trade. And there is something in Jesus. These men had been born in families that had been going out to sea day after day, catching whatever they could and using it for their food and drink of every day. But now Jesus looks at them and they look at him, this stranger standing on the shore. And all he says as he looks at them with love, come, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. You are depending on your fish for your food and drink. But if you are there to follow me, I will give you food and drink which you do not know about. That will bring not temporary happiness, temporary fulfillment, but everlasting joy and happiness in your life. And he goes round and he gets his 12 disciples. Eleven of them listened to him and gradually they fell in love with God. Their food and drink was no more the food and drink for bodily growth. It was food and drink for everlasting life. And now Jesus is walking with them and his face is towards Jerusalem. The disciples had witnessed the many miracles that Jesus had worked, feeding thousands, curing the blind, the lepers, the lame, forgiving people. James and John asked their mother to approach Jesus and request that each one of them will be on the right and left of Jesus. The other disciples were indignant. How bold of these two, wanting to be placed close to Jesus. Little did they know, the closer we are to Jesus, we have to be ready to share in his food and drink. And that is to do the Father's will. And so they walked towards Jerusalem not realizing what it meant for Jesus to look in that direction. As I mentioned earlier, salvation history is a history of God's love and in the process sending his son even to the extent of dying for us. Jesus knew fully well. He was a human being. He knew that if he walked toward Jerusalem, it was not going to be a walk of flowers and garlands. It would be a walk to his death. And he needed strength 
And he had spent 40 days and nights in prayer and fasting, just asking the Father for that strength to remain faithful till the end. His food and drink was to be to do the will of the Father. And now he was moving in that direction and asking his followers to come behind them if they were ready to do so. One of them, at this time of the Last Supper, although he shared the bread and wine with Jesus, he went out into the dark to betray him. Darkness can be a sign of betrayal. Darkness can be a sign of sin. Darkness can be a sign of our ignoring Jesus. And therefore, Jesus comes as the light to dispel this darkness, to give his life that he may conquer sin and death, so that if we also choose the food and drink of Jesus, then we can experience everlasting life with him. But to do the will of the Father, my dear brothers and sisters, we have to be ready, like Jesus, to change our direction, to change our treasure, to change our vision. Where my treasure is, there will my heart be also. If my treasure is on accumulating worldly wealth, my heart will be there also. If my treasure is to love God and to follow Him and to do His will, my heart will say yes. Here I am, Lord. I am here to do your will. We may say this. We may say it very often. We may sing it. There are beautiful hymns. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. Do I mean it? Like those disciples? Do I really mean I want to be another Jesus? Do I want my food and drink to change from that which only gives me bodily growth to the food and drink that Jesus took and gives to each one of us? Take and eat. Take and drink. And when we receive Jesus, and Jesus fills us with that strength and energy, he gives us the grace to be faithful. Like Jesus, will I be faithful in answering the will of God. My dear brothers and sisters, we are here in this shrine. We have come with our many petitions, our prayers of intercession, of thanksgiving. We come with faith. We ask God for so many things. Are we ready to listen to him? If we are Christians today, if we receive the sacraments of baptism, confirmation, Eucharist, reconciliation, it is because to make us stronger not in body, 
but in our following of Jesus as his disciples. Every Christian, my dear brothers and sisters, in today's church, in the synod that is being propagated throughout the world, every single baptized Christian is part of the small Christian community in which I am a part, not only by going for one month's meeting, but like Jesus, every day can I commit myself to the will of God, to the building of his kingdom. If I'm in school, in college, in my community, in my place of work, in I dealing with people, am I another Christ? Will my non-Christian brothers and sisters see in me another Christ whose values of love, understanding, forgiveness, sharing, caring, reaching out can be seen in and through us? Let us pause for a few moments in silence. Let us close our eyes and let us keep our whole self open. Jesus is calling me. Like Samuel, can I say, speak Lord, your servant is listening. Let us now stand for the prayer of the faithful, although it is one person who is reciting the prayers. Let each prayer be our own personal prayer that I am making to Jesus, the infant Jesus who is calling each one of us. Our response shall be, God of the universe, hear our prayer. Kindly repeat. God of the universe, hear our prayer. That we will receive the kingdom of God with open hearts and minds. Let us pray to the Lord our response. God of the universe, hear our prayer. That we will realize that God's kingdom is inclusive and for all. Let us pray to the Lord our response. God of the universe, hear our prayer. That we will become aware that it is our privilege and responsibility to spread the kingdom which Jesus inaugurated. Let us pray to the Lord our response. God of the universe, hear our prayer. That we may have the courage to persevere in spreading God's kingdom despite the challenges that, me, that we might encounter. Let us pray to the Lord our response. God of the universe, hear our prayer. Kindly pray for your personal intention. Let us pray to the Lord our response. God of, of the, the universe, universe, hear our prayer. Just three days ago, I lost my brother who was 91 years old. I had gone to Versailles to celebrate his funeral mass and I returned yesterday back to Nashik because the Novena and the feast day is approaching and I want to be with you all. I'd like to thank all those people who were praying for my brother's recovery. But I know that it was God's will 
that having lived his life to the fullest, God felt it better to take him to be with him. I also thank all who have been sending their condolences and prayers for me and my family for all the love I have experienced in, this, in these sad moments. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Novena to the Infant Jesus. Remember, as we are praying, let our intention be like Jesus, that our food and drink may be to do the will of God. O Jesus, you said, seek and you shall. Please make your petition. O oh, Jesus, you said all that you asked. Please make your petition and let us pray for the thousands of people who have died in the recent earthquake in Turkey and Syria. Not only for them, but also for children who have become orphans overnight, husbands who have lost their wives, wives who have lost their husbands, family members who have lost their loved ones. Oh Jesus, you said, heaven and earth shall pass, but my word shall not pass within the city. Please make your petition. And I'd like to thank God for the thousands and lakhs of pilgrims who will be coming here to Nashik to this infant Jesus shrine that God may bless them in a very special way and give them what is best for them. We make this prayer, dear infant Jesus, in your name, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. For the offertory, kindly join in singing B27 on page 73. B27. sisters, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name 
for our good and the good of all this holy church. Let us pray. O Lord our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right, right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, the Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. We proclaim your death, the Lord, and profess your Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Lutz Daniel, our Bishop, and all the clergy, religious, and people of God. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O Lord, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Together. Amen. We say the Lord's Prayer every day so often. And for Jesus, who introduced his Father to us as our Father, we pray that our food and drink may not be so much to see to our bodily growth, that like Jesus, we may also live the kingdom of Jesus every day. And so we pray. Our, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. With the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. And now with joy in our hearts and a nice smile on our faces, let us greet one another with the peace and love of Jesus. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word and my soul shall be healed. For the coming in, can you take a hymn books to hymn number N26 on page 293? Hymn number N26 on page number 293.
I surrender all. I surrender all. I surrender all. All to be my blessed Savior. I surrender all. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, invigorate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within thy wounds, hide me. Suffer me not to be separated from thee. From the malignant enemy, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me. And bid me come to you, so that with your saints I may praise you for all eternity. Amen. When Peter saw James and John, Peter and Andrew, and said, come, follow me, like the words of the song, they did. I surrender all. And they did not go back on their word. They surrendered their boats, their nets, their families, and followed Jesus. There was once a person who told me, Father, I find it very difficult to sing this hymn because I am afraid that Jesus may take me seriously. Are you ready? You sang this hymn just now, so beautifully, so loudly. If Jesus were to say to you, I take you seriously, are you ready? Dear faithful, you are all aware that in some parts of our country and in Maharashtra, there have been incidents of some unsocial elements trying to interrupt prayer services, vandalizing our places of worship, and also falsely accusing Christians of forced conversions. In Nasik, Christians of all denominations have decided to come together and conduct a silent march at 9 a.m. on Saturday, the 18th February, to protest such incidents. The march will start from St. Andrew's Church, CNI, Sharanpur, Nasik, to the collector's office. You are requested to join this silent march and show our Christian unity, irrespective of our denominations. Communion Antiphon. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be consoled. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall have their fill. <coughs> Let us pray. God of the universe, through your Son Jesus, you have established your kingdom of love, justice, and peace. Give us the grace to further this kingdom, not so much through the words that we speak, but through the actions that we do. We make this prayer to you, who live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with, and your, with your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us make our food and drink like Jesus, the will of the Father who loves us. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. For the recessional Kalitika hymn books on the last page of your hymnal, Hymn to the Infant Jesus, Prince of Peace. On the last page of your hymnal, Hymn to the Infant Jesus, Prince of Peace. <laughs> 